Hello friends, uh, in this session I am going to illustrate about array of character pointers. It may be a single dimension array or a multi dimension array. So let us start with array of single dimensional character pointer. Okay. Suppose I have a character declaration like this, character array declaration like this. I can store a data like this. Hello. Now to output this, we will use the CO to object. Just pass the array name and we can see that the hello is written to the console. Now the same stuff we can use it with the help of pointer variable character. Let the pointer variable be p, so character pointer p and I can store the data welcome here what is the meaning of this character pointer I am going to explain this this is equivalent to char p equal welcome as you saw here in this line number 5 the same thing this part is replaced by a pointer variable even though we are using the array indexing and all in every array index there is a pointer implementation we call it as internal pointer implementation so suppose you want to access some data uh, for example you want to say you want to access h how will you access we can say that c out ch of 0 so what does it mean so there is an internal point implementation so this will be converted as asterisk of ch plus 0 ch contains the base address the base address is added by 0 so if the base address is 100 100 plus 0 100 the value in that address there you will get h so ultimately you will get the character h now i am removing this one here it is not important now it means whenever you create an array what happens is the base address the base address of this array that is where the w is stored the starting address is taken and given to p or we can say that p is a pointer variable which has the base address of this array i repeat p is a pointer variable which has the base address of this array now to display that array we can say, say that c out suppose i am going to I just put p alone we are going to see what will happen You can see that we are getting the expected output. P contains the base address. So here also C contains the base address. So whenever you pass the base address of a character array to the C out, we can see that the whole content is retrieved. Now I am going to declare an array of pointers like this asterisk. ch p now i am saying that size is 5 here we have one point one character pointer variable which can point to a one dimensional array of character array of characters and what about here we we have five character pointers namely C, uh, we can say that they are uh, they are all ch p 0 this is the first one then ch p 1 up to ch p 4 so we have four character pointers 
where each character pointer can point to an array of characters like this. So I'm going to do like this chp of 0. It can point some data like this first. Then chp of 1. It can point second and another array of characters. chp of 2. It can store third like this. Then chp of 3, it can store an another array of characters 4. Then chp of 4, it can store another group of characters which con uh, whose content is 5. So now we have 5 character pointers where each character pointer points to some one dimensional array of characters hope that you understood now how will you access first by using the character pointer chp so here you can see that how we displayed welcome using that pointer pass a base address now chp0 contains the base address of array whose content is first now to display that say that c out chp of 0 and you can see that we are getting the expected output first for this line like this we can access one by one chp of 1 chp of 2 chp of 3 the whole thing if you want we can rewrite in a different manner I am commenting all these lines then we can say that char asterisk chp it's a array of characters so array means an array of elements where each element is an array of characters first second third like this n by n n size like that n number of data we can give then we can access one by one c out chp of 0 chp of 1 chp of 2 like that so we are going to write the second how will you write second chp of 1 and then now we are going to execute this we can see that the second is displayed now what is the point implementation here here also we have an internal point implementation so what will be that asterisk of the syntax is like this asterisk of array name what is the array name chp chp then plus one so we can further expand like this asterisk of now what is chp chp is the address of this whole array hope that you understand chp is the address of this whole array when you say that chp plus 0 the value at chp plus 0 you are getting the address of the first element this is the first element when you say that asterisk of chp plus 1 you are getting the address of the second element so we can say that now chp plus 1 so points to the second element and the value at that address the value at that points to the second element so asterisk of that one means you are getting the address that address you are passing you will get 
the expected output as second. Suppose you want to access the element third, how will you access by using pointer C out asterisk of CHP plus And we can see that it is giving the result third as we expected. So this will give the yeah. Suppose if you want to access first by using the pointer implementation, then we can say that C out asterisk of we can say CHP plus zero. Or even zero is not mandatory. Anything plus zero, that value only. CHP plus zero is that is CHP. And you can see that you are getting the expected output first. Like that, you can access one by one. Thank you for watching this video.